Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. As you can see, I got my latest shipment from Nomadic. Let's see what they sent us. So quick reminder on the Nomadic boxes. So first off, you can do them quarterly or you can do them monthly. If you do the monthly boxes, um, subscribing for a whole year is gonna save you more money on a monthly rate as opposed to doing it month by month. So month by month, it's $34.99 each month. If you subscribe for a whole year, it's gonna go down to $29.99 per month. So with that being said, uh, the gear is outdoor gear. I can already tell you, I looked into this and I'm like, yes, this is like in a new, like I'm always doing stuff in the outdoors, but you've got like survival, bushcraft, camping, hiking. Those are, they're all connected in a lot of ways in the outdoors, but they're different genres. And I can tell you that some of the products that they're sending are like, yeah, that's in a kind of a different world than I'm, I'm usually getting gear and subscription boxes from. So I've worked with Battlebox. I'm still working with them. I've worked with Crate Club. I work with Spec Ops Global in the past. They've since closed down. I've worked with Hunt Vault. Um, I work with Gotham Crate. I mean, I've worked with a bunch of these dis different subscri subscription boxes. Hey guys, real quick, I forgot to mention, this is a quarterly box that we're looking at. So a quarterly box, and these run $149.99 per quarter. You're gonna get at least $200 of value. All right, so here's a little handout that they send to you, so you can see what that looks like. Tells you what's inside. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different products. And then they have some tips and the nomadic challenge. And then they've got some info on the back as well. So first thing we have a coal tree duffel bag. Let's grab that. So as I open this thing up, I can tell you just right off the bat, the overall quality is good. It's a nicely built bag. I have used a variety of bags. I mean, I've used dozens and dozens of bags over the years. And you can tell when stuff is well-made and when it's not well-made. Um, big chunky zippers, which is nice for a larger bag like this. I'll give you a look at the whole thing here. I'll hold it up for you. There's that. There's that. Big section to open up here if you want to get into the, uh, into the bag. Looks like we've got, there's your shoulder strap. Actually, two straps. So it looks like you can probably carry it on your back as well, which is pretty slick. Looks like it's nice and reinforced on the bottom. There's a, a uh, some webbing to grab on one end, webbing to grab on the other end. Got your handle here, and that can snap together. So, you know, carrying it like this, basically. Let me look at some of the details here and tell you what they say about it. So, from the gym to your weekend adventures, this versatile duffel bag has got you covered perfectly, size fits, fits in your overhead compartments and a U-shaped zipper along the length of the bag for easy packing. You can carry as a duffel or use the backpack straps. So yeah, simple product. But um, Coltree I've had a good experience with so far, checking out some of their gear. So yeah, I mean, simple product, but to have a nice duffel, duffel bag is, that's awesome. So yeah, there's our, uh, our first products in the latest from the Nomadic. All right, next up we have this, which is a modal, um, water bottle and I've actually seen these before. So let me show you on the outside here real quick. So you can see, you got a bunch of different ways that you can set it up. Um, there's a, a cap on the top and the bottom, which is unique. You can use it like there's kind of the showering system. You can use it with a, a filter as well. The other thing about these guys is that they're made of a softer material. So you, when you take the, the top off, I'll do that real quick here. You can like condense it and crush it and put it down. So what do we have here? We've got the, all right, so this is cool. The one I had before just had the top and the bottom. This one has basically, you've got the little carrying sort of handle there, which you can pop off and adjust, right? So if you wanna make that carrying handle basically longer, right? So now your carrying handle is longer. And then you've actually got the little squeeze top here and you've actually got the little spout there. So the last one I had just here to take this off. The challenge of these, I think, is if you don't have the squeeze top and you know, you're know you holding it, sometimes because it's softer, it can kind of be like, as you're trying to drink out of it. But with the squeeze top, you know, easier to operate it like that. So put the little cover back on here for the top. So you can, um, you can, there's like an attachment you can put on that's got little holes and perforations on the bottom. So you can fill it up with water and then use it like a shower to clean yourself off or clean off even gear. Um, yeah, you can run a water filter into it and through it. Here's your, uh, you can see inside, there's the, the um, straw that goes down into the bottom. 
So simple product, but I like this guy. I'm, you know what I'm shocked by right now is that the last one I had, I was kind of like, meh. And now that I see you've got the like little drinkable spout there, so much better, so much better. So quick recommendation is that if you get one of these on your own, definitely get the top that has the, uh, the little spout there. And again, because it is soft, you can collapse it down, throw it in the bag. It's gonna take up less space. So modal water bottle with lots of functionality. That's our second product. All right, our next product is actually a uh, modification for the modal bottle. So it's the, called the Flow Mod Hydration Pack with Mag Clip. So basically it's a spout or a um, straw that you can attach to this so that you can use it basically like a, um, you know, like a, like a hydration pack. So you can see right there, just attach it to the spout and then you can use it to, uh, you know, put it in a backpack, put it even in one of those side pockets on your backpack and then you can drink out of it. So simple product, but that's cool. Now you can use it without having to hold it in your hands while you're hiking, biking, whatever the case might be. All right, now, like I said, you know, there's an overlap between the outdoors, bushcraft, survival, camping, hiking thing. This is a knife that goes across all brands or all um, genres of the outdoors, the Open L. That is, this is a great one. The number six, or some people call it the 06, I guess. Um, stainless steel, basic pocket knife from France, but that is a great knife. This is, um, my brother actually lives in France right now. And uh, he said this is just a classic for like a pocket knife that people carry for tons of uses, outdoors, farming, kind of everyday carry, whatever it is, this is a go-to. So these are great knives. They come razor sharp, so be careful. But uh, yeah, that's a great product. All right, we got three more items. These two are called Puff Power Up Foods. We have double chocolate brownies and we have chocolate chip coconut cookies. Both of these have green tea caffeine in, caffeine in them. Now I'm not gonna drink, uh, eat these right now because I was just drinking my coffee. So I don't wanna over caffeinate myself today. But simple little item, a little snack, 150 calories in them, but also with some caffeine to give you an extra little boost. That's awesome. So I'm gonna actually keep these in my truck and this is gonna be like a little snack for me midday when I'm out working or doing something like that. Um, yeah, simple product, throw it in your bag, throw it in your kit, keep it at home, whatever. Each time there's been some sort of food included, which I think is cool because sometimes it's just gear, but something to eat, that's cool. So Puff Power Up Foods. All right, last up here, we have an item from Zippo and this is called the Mag Strike and it's a ferro rod or a fire steel. Let's open this one up and test it out. All right, so first off, it clicks together like this. So this is your fire steel and this is your striker. You can see this little kind of metal piece clicks into the, the cap there. And then let me see if I can take it apart relatively easily. Yeah, so you really got a tongue on that thing to open it up, which is good because it means it's not gonna fall apart. When it is connected, you could run some cordage between those two if you wanna link them. There's your fire steel and there's your striker. All right, so I thought at first you could only use the end here, like the, the actual smallest part there, but you can use the side. So I just scraped a little bit off, but you'll see right here, you know, I got a good solid grip on that. And then like this, So there you go, fire steel. If you've never, ooh, that smells. If you've never used a fire steel to start a fire before, I would highly encourage you to try it out and to get comfortable comfortable with it before you say that's gonna be my number one method of starting a fire. Um, lighters, matches, particularly waterproof or stormproof matches are great. Fire steel is awesome too, um, but you gotta get comfortable with how to use it. You can't just throw a spark onto a pile of sticks and hope it's gonna start. You gotta know what the process looks like, but. Um, I've never seen this product before from Zippo, so that's cool. And that's our final item in uh, this uh, nomadic box. Oh man, that sun is something else, huh? Look at that, that is bright. Anyhow, hey, let's hear your thoughts, guys. What do you think about this box? Um, honestly, for me, super impressed with what, with what they're putting out here. Um, that value right there, I feel like is very high for what you're paying and all very usable products I am I get frustrated when I get junk products in a box. Now, again, I'm getting these, you know, at no cost to me so I can review them, but I can still tell you there's products I get. I'm like, all right, this is either going to the garbage or I'm just trying to get rid of it and get it out of my house because I know I'm never going to use it. Everything in this box, I would definitely say, yes, I will use all those items. So yeah, let's get the discussion started in the comment section and let's uh, hear your thoughts on the gear in this box. All right, reminder, once again, if you want more details, there's info on the different levels of subscription, website links, all that stuff down in the description section. And as always, thanks again for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.